<clears throat> what up, though? Figure cents. Everybody throwing their two cent in. <clears throat> I may as well do the same. So, uh, Jesse, Jesse Smollett, hate crimes slash race crimes situation. Um, <clears throat> Most people that saw this shit thought it was suspect from the beginning because it was just so ridiculous. Everybody knows the story. There's no need to recap it. For those that don't know, Joseph Smollett, lead actor from the show Empire, plays Jamal Lyon, uh, late January, I want to say 28th and 29th, allegedly was uh, attacked by two assailants who uh, had MAGA hats on said this is maggot country and you're the faggot from empire so they beat him up allegedly cracked his ribs allegedly poured some bleach on him put a noose around his neck and then somehow he got uh, ran off into the night and uh it's a lot of a lot of things didn't add up to it as far as the story because first they had maggot hats on second yeah, they must be helping Trump 2020, so maybe like Jussie Smollett or Juicy as Star the Morning would call him. Maybe he's like secretly a Republican, you know what I mean? He's willing to put his whole career on the line <laughs> just so Donald Trump could get back in the office. But um, yeah, first they had MAGA hats, then it was ski masks, then they said MAGA country, then it was like they were supposed to be white. Then once the cops did some investigating, it turns out it was Nigerian. And then Jesse claimed he uh, talked to a couple of people on the phone as it was happening. So the police wanted to see the records of who he was talking to. And he didn't want to show him the phone records for like 10 days. And he finally showed him the phone records. And a lot of stuff was erased and redacted from the records. It was like a PDF file. It wasn't even like the real shit. And then they found out it was Nigerians. It wasn't white dudes at all. Then it turns out one of the Nigerians was one of the extras on Empire. He was in season two. Then it turns out that uh, Jesse Smollett paid the Nigerians four thousand dollars. Well, he gave him thirty five hundred up front. He still owed them five. They left the Nigeria, then came back to get that five hundred. And I guess that's when they got questioned by detained by police. But uh, I guess these guys ain't expect for it to go this far so they started singing like a canary saying that Jesse Smollett orchestrated the entire thing because apparently he's getting he's getting written off written off of Empire uh, um, for whatever reason I, and, and the funny thing is because I, I watch Empire I noticed like in the latest season they keep having this like foreshadowing of somebody dying and they keep saying like a, 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 an important member of the cast is going to pass away but they don't show who it is. And Empire always uses like a twist, so you never know. So it would make sense that it's Jesse that's gonna die if he's the one that's gonna be written off, uh, you know, from the scene. And basically, I think uh, Jesse, when he got, from what I heard, he got wind that he was gonna get written off, written off of the show a while ago. So he allegedly doctored up some random piece of hate mail with like cut out letters and shit, calling him fag and a nigger. With, with a gun point at his name and shit, but it had no return address or nothing like that. So maybe he's, he's just orchestrating all this drama to get some sympathy in case he's in case he loses his job. You know what I mean? Who knows? Which I mean, I, I get it. I get it. Everybody nowadays is always trying to use the GoFundMe or trying to get people to donate them shit. To make their lives more comfortable. I mean, it's it's a hustle. It is what it is. Shit, I wish motherfuckers would donate me money, make my life more comfortable. But it's definitely this whole thing is an it's an, it's an attack on Trump because he said he goes hard against forty five. You know what I mean? Pause. Or not? Maybe not pause because he's allegedly gay. Star Star theorizes that he's not gay at all. He's just using gay to be rich. You know what I'm saying? He's if you if you want to make it in Hollywood. Even if you're not gay, just do gay for pay or pretend like you're a fag. You know what I'm saying? And you'll get paid. So, it's what it is. One of my best poems I ever did was me acting like a woman for the entire poem. But, hey, 
That ain't my stick. I'ma use my skills, not my gayness. You know? But um if he's liberal, you know what I mean, he's he's for the democratic side, this stunt that he pulled did not benefit the Democrats in one shape, form, or fashion. This is the thing. If y'all liberal leftist pansies think that uh like the right is so bad and Trump is so evil, you wouldn't even have to manufacture anything to make him seem like he's evil. He's gonna put his stick his foot in his mouth. People are gonna do bad things. You don't gotta add on top of that. When you create shit and you add on to things, you know what I'm saying, to make things seem greater than what they are, you take away from your case and your cause, you make yourself seem non-believable. You thus become the boy that cried wolf. So when someone actually does go through something, so when somebody actually is going through some shit, nobody's gonna believe them. Oh, there go those pansy ass, soft ass, gay ass Democrats again, fabricating some shit and making some shit up. We're not gonna believe them. That, this, that, this, that really, 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 really hurts the leftist, the left's kid. I don't consider myself left. I don't consider myself Republican. I don't consider myself Democrat. I, I already talked about my belief in government and how, how all this shit, all this shit is controlled and orchestrated. And we really have no power over the only way we can re the only way we can really change it is change how change the way we raise our children so that when they get older and they be they you know get to that age where they come into positions of power, they can change the whole paradigm, and everything. You, you're not gonna change it from the outside. You're gonna change it from your family. That's that's how you change everything, in my opinion. How you raise up your kids. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, I don't consider myself a Democrat or Republican, but honestly, the Democrats. They, they, they disgust me more than Republicans. And I'm a broke motherfucker, but just, just how they move, yo, they, they, they disgust me way more than Republicans, Republicans by far, yo. You know what I mean? Always looking for a handout. Always, well, I'm not, not, not willing to take accountability. Always trying to put the blame on somebody else. Always crying, woe is me. Always looking for sympathy. And they got, and they got this fucking gang mentality. Like, when um, Jussie or Juicy, as Star in the Morning would call him, uh, first brought this shit up, he um uh, when he when he when it was first brought up or whatever, you couldn't you couldn't like not believe him or you'll be labeled either a racist if you didn't believe him you was white you was racist and you a homophobe because apparently a homosexual black person I put homosexual first because a lot of a lot of gay people see themselves as their sexuality before they fucking race which is fucking ridiculous to me but a homosexual gay dude. You, you don't believe what he said when he went through some type of assault. So not only are you a homophobe, but you're a racist in two folds. You know what I'm saying? And you and you anti-liberal. You know, he, he he basically attacked he basically attached himself to two three sensitivities when he put this bullshit out. But it just look it looks so suspect from the beginning, man. He didn't even have to fake orchestrate this shit. All you gotta do is go into a bar, you know what I'm saying, with a lot of crackers. Try to act like you have like have your Empire T-shirt, have an Empire T-shirt with the gay flag on it, and go into a bar. You gonna have some mega motherfuckers beat you up, baby. You put yourself in a real position if you really want that shit to happen. You ain't gonna walk. First of all, in Chicago, it was minus twenty. But this is when it was that big ass deep deep freeze throughout the, like like the northern half of the United States. So it was like minus twenty degrees in Chicago. In some places, minus fifty with the wind chill factor. I forget the temperature, but if you throw any type of liquid out, that shit will fucking freeze. Like ble bleach freezes at, at a certain temperature, so there's no way they would it would it would have froze on him instantly. He would have had all kinds of frostbite and shit. And if somebody else was saying if he was tussling and hustling and rumbling with these cats and you're sweating in that type of cold, he would have icicles all over his face and shit. People did this experiment. Like in that cold, they actually boiled water and like tossed the water up in the minus 20 degree weather and that shit turned to snow immediately. Like poof, like a fucking magic trick. You know what I mean? And who the fuck is, I mean, it's, I, I, it's a double entendre that a gay dude was looking for a foot long. You know what I mean? That shit is, <laughs> that's funny. But um, who the fuck is like two in the morning, you rich. It's minus 20 degrees. You know, like gay people be wearing skinny jeans and shit, and like small coats. Who the fuck going to go out with skinny jeans on a small coat with your little like uh, <clears throat> with your little hush, uh, uh, Donna Karen hush puppies? You, you feel me? And, and 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 looking for a sandwich with no socks on and shit, and shoes with the buckle on it. Two in the morning. So I thought like once you got to a certain uh, level as far as finances and status that you would at least have. 
better taste and cuisine. I'm not saying Subway is bad, but I don't got that much money, right? But the little bit of money I have, there's certain things that I probably wouldn't partake of or be a part of. So I don't know. That, that just don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers won't wear knockoff clothes if they rich, but they'll still, still eat some bullshit ass Subway. That, it doesn't make no sense. And then there was a witness at first, but then all of a sudden, like, the witness disappeared. And then he calls himself the gay Tupac. And he allegedly got beat up by these big guys. This dude had one scratch on the, under his eye, like, one little, one little small scratch. And, you know, he still did his concert the next day. And he's like, I want to tell y'all. I was just minding my own business, trying to get my subway. I needed me a grinder. I needed me a foot long. Then these dudes is like MAGA country. They punched me in my face. But you know what? I punched him back. Because I'm the gay Tupac. That's your song. Ugh. <laughs> I'm the gay Tupac. That's your song. So fucking corny. So, so unbelievable. And is it saying like gay Tupac, isn't that kind of redundant because Tupac was kind of gay but that's a whole nother topic man <laughs> I'm gonna probably get shot for that comment that's another thing people that's willing to kill themselves or put themselves in harm's way or kill other people just because you shit on an artist that they really love and revered he was a fucking idiot take that take all that energy all that pent up energy that you have of wanting to kill somebody just because they made fun of a rapper that's dead that you like, take that energy and use it to like better yourself. Like learn this, learn the stock market or learn an instrument or just like get in shape or some shit. Like fuck out of here. But and, and like Diane said, exactly, Chicago's not even is it, it isn't it isn't MAGA country. It's just like um if, what if we what if you did the reverse? Like like you a white guy in the middle of like Mississippi, like a real racist town in Mississippi and shit. And then you get beat up, you know what I'm saying, by 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 a couple of brothers. And they say this Black Panther country, cracker, like in the heart of like of Confederate flag town. Nobody will fucking believe that story. That's just as unbelievable as it being in the reverse. Yo, know, all I'm saying is listen, man. If you have faith in your side, if you have faith in your team, whether it's the left or the right, you don't have to construct and make up unbelievable shit to give yourself a chance. You know what I mean? You you should be able to win based on your merit, based on your ideas. You should be able to win based on your direction, based on your plan. You feel what I'm saying? You You, you should be able to be successful based on the support and just based on being able to sway people as far as what type of agenda that you have. You don't gotta like do this like smear campaign with the other that shit is corny. When you do the smear campaign, and I see this, I, I feel like I see the smear campaign, I see the leftists doing these smear campaigns way more than the right. I'm not saying the right is more the right just as evil, you know what I'm saying? But the leftist is way more guerrilla warfare underhanded with that shit. And I I do not consider myself a Democrat. I do not want to be even associated with these leftist motherfuckers that's just looking for handouts and don't that that don't want to hold accountability and that want everybody to share and that, that's always looking for somebody to help them and feel sorry for them and just mobbing together and acting like bullies towards people that don't share their ideology man that shit is corny as fuck to me man but is jesse's career over i don't know these are strange times even if let's say his major acting career is over with this whole charade that he created, he can he can create his he can he can develop a podcast. He can create this whole little persona, and um, he'll he'll be fine. It's always gonna be if as long, if you got a thousand motherfuckers that follow you, and those thousand motherfuckers is willing to consistently give you twenty dollars, you have a career for the rest of your life. So that's that's that that's what that is. Uh, people say he's associated with Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, two people that said they're gonna be running for president. Or uh, 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 putting themselves in the primaries for uh, 2020 next year. So, who knows? It could it, it, it could come from a higher source. They could have put him up to one of those people, or somebody associated with Kamala Harris or Cory Booker could have put him up to this bullshit to to, to, to try to hurt Trump's campaign. And um, and uh, if that's the case. 
He need to he need to sing like a canary, man. He need to just snitch on the motherfuckers. Even though he's just as bad with going along with it. Actually, if he's if he's a stand up guy, he won't snitch. He'll just take the blame. If I was him out, like somebody was saying, he should just blame blame it on drugs or some shit like that. Should he go to jail? He should go to jail, Diane, but in defense of that, and I was watching Robert Perkins, he made a good point. He was like, white people get away with way more, way worse shit than that, and white people have gotten away with way worse shit than that. He should be penalized, some type of fine, some type of probation. I wouldn't put jail on a dude, though, nah. Nah, because if he needs to go to jail, then a lot of white people that killed unarmed, innocent black motherfuckers should, should be under the jail right now. So, no, he shouldn't go to jail for that, no. But he should get some penalty. And he, he definitely deserves like public ostracism. He about to get roasted for the next 20 years. Like that, that, that's going down. Should he lose his career and his livelihood? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think he should, <clears throat> but he definitely should feel the pain and the stress of what he did. But to be taken off of the streets, nah, I, I don't think so. Even though shit like that does potentially incite a riot, it could potentially incite a fucking race war. So I don't know. Hey, maybe you got an argument there. I don't know. My only argument with him going to jail is that white people, like I said, have done way worse shit and they uh, have not, um, maybe they got away, they got off plenty of times. So if we see more white folks going to jail for bullshit, like shit that's way worse, then yeah, hell yeah, put his ass in jail. But what's today's date, the 18th? No, today's date is the 19th, right? Yeah, I got to. I gotta write my my my. I just did a delivery for Instacart, and I gotta write my miles and all that shit down. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be responsible with this shit. I got a day job. I do this Instacart shit, and I do comedy. No, we definitely gotta stop. No, we have to stop comparing white people. But the thing is. I, I just see a lot of black folks screaming like he should be thrown in jail and he should be thrown in prison. I see a lot of I, I see that outcry and it's deserved, but I didn't hear this much of an outcry when Dylan Dylan Roof killed nine people in the church. So it, it's it's like I heard more like we should forgive him. There's something wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? Like we will will condemn R. Kelly and put him down. He's a fucking monster and he's a scumbag and shit like that. But I don't I don't see as much venom towards other races from our own people when they do shit. We tend to implode on our own a lot harder when they do wrong as opposed in comparison to others, man. You know? That's all I'm saying. There, there, there has to be there has to be some type of balance. If, if people on one side is getting off, then other people on the other side should be getting off. It shouldn't be people on one side is always getting off and then people on the other side is always getting, uh, uh, always getting convicted. You feel me? There, there has to be a balance to that shit. That's totally unbalanced that's that's all i'm saying whether whether it's right whether it's right or whether it's wrong there should be a balance to it there should be a, a balance to it all right all right let me just finish putting my my shit in my pay my totals that's what i feel but we should stop comparing white people to this the fact is we have no room yeah we definitely we definitely have no room for error but i feel like the way we come when was one one of our own does wrong, I feel like we should attack them and come at them, but not in a public forum where other groups can see us attacking our own. We need to do that behind closed doors. It's just like if you got kids or family members, you discipline your family members within your house, within your community. You don't do that shit out in public so everybody can see it, because then other groups feel like they can act toward any any old way towards your family. No, this is a, this is a family affair. This is a family thing. You feel what I'm saying? It's a family, yeah. Hey, I'm about to be out too. That's that's pretty much all I had to say. I will holler at y'all. Hashtag everybody need more green peace.